Hi. Now for this next part of the question, remember we were told first of all that an online shop sells a computer game at an average rate of one per day. And now once every seven days the shop has games delivered before it opens. And we've got to find the least number of games the shop should have in stock immediately after delivery so that the probability of running out of the game before the next delivery is less than 0.05 for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now in the first part of the question, I defined a random variable which was the random variable x. I said that let x be the random variable number of games sold per seven days. And we're told that games were sold an average rate of one per day. So it meant that over a seven day period, the random variable x would follow a Poisson distribution with a mean of seven. So if that's the case then, we're looking for the least number of games over this seven day period that should be in stock for it to have a probability of not running out of sales. It has to be less than 0.05. So in other words, we're told that the probability that the number of games sold in those seven days must be greater than some value, we'll call it n, and that probability must be less than 0.05. So we've got to use tables to work this out, the cumulative Poisson distribution tables. Remember, they give us probabilities of being less than or equal to a given value. So I've got to change this. Now, working out a probability like this is exactly the same as doing 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to the value that you've got here, in this case n. And that's got to be less than 0.05. And if we rearrange this, if I subtract 0.05 from both sides and add this probability to both sides, then I'd have that 0.95, the result of 1 minus 0.05, 0.95 would be less than the probability of x being less than or equal to n. But I could reverse this round. This is exactly the same as saying the probability that x is less than or equal to n has to be greater than 0.95. So I've got my value probability being less than or equal to a given value. Now we know that we're looking at this distribution here. So I can use the tables that you'll be given or you'll find in say a textbook. Look under the mean of 7 and I'm looking down this column here where I find a value that is just greater than 0.95. So we come down here and I can see here I've got 0.9467 when x is 11, but it just beats 0.95 when x is 12. We get 0.9730. So the value then that we're looking at is 12. So we can say that therefore from tables, we see that n must be equal to 12. And there's your answer.